Hi guys, good evening, and welcome back once again to The Edward. I'm your host, Eddie, and in tonight's video, I will be discussing what I thought of the latest and greatest episode of AMC's The Walking Dead. Oh, it was so damn good. I feel so enthused and energetic just after watching it. I mean, it was just one hell of a kinetic episode. It was just so, oh, oh man, I just loved it so much, and I am also incredibly frightened as to what could possibly possibly happen or go down at this upcoming fair. Now, before I begin, of course, please be warned, this is a spoiler-filled episode review. Again, if you're not caught up on The Walking Dead by this episode or the past couple episodes, do not keep watching or listening as I will be going into spoilers. Once again, uh, spoilers ahead, I will be going into spoilers and plot details and discussing key moments that happened in this episode. So uh, don't keep watching or listening if you haven't seen it yet. And if you have seen it, please keep watching and listening. Okay, spoilers starting here on out starting now oh, what a great episode what a great episode we met some brand new kick-ass new characters they're setting us up for something really big and probably really bad to go down at the fair and we saw an epic brawl between daryl and beta you know when they were teasing this brawl last week at the end of last week's episode and the promos we saw you know i was really hoping for a big epic one-on-one -on -one brawl and i feel like we got exactly that and i was also fairly confident that uh, Beta was not dead after Daryl uh, kicked him or shoved him down the elevator shaft. They would not kill a brand new major character that way. They might kill a minor character that way, but Beta has only been around for, what, two episodes now? And he was just introduced, and I'm sure we're going to be seeing him well into season 10 as well, if I had to guess. Uh, but wow, what a kick-ass brawl. You know, last year, I absolutely loved the episode where Rick went off-road and uh, went after after Negan and it was like a one-on-one -on -one fight between the two of them and he was taunting Negan for once instead of the other way around that was an awesome episode and uh I'm like how are they gonna one-up that like how could you one-up a one-on-one -on -one confrontation and they did we saw Daryl take on Beta and it was fucking great I mean Beta is one tough guy he's a big mofo I mean Daryl got him in the shoulder with a knife he didn't even flinch so a fall down an elevator shaft sure as hell ain't gonna kill him and he looks angry you know, one thing I will say about this episode that really did surprise me is that I thought the highway, I thought, well, this is interesting. They're introducing a new group of villains or uh, bad guys or a brand new threat because it's like, well, they're going to have their hands full between the highwaymen and the whisperers. But I was actually quite pleased at the outcome of meeting the highwaymen because as Carol and uh, Jerry pointed out, these guys could have easily killed Jerry and Diane, but they just took their stuff and left them with a message. And then uh, they were able to negotiate a temporary truce or deal with them that uh, you protect our roads and our people and uh, you can come to the fair and you can see a movie for the first time in forever. And I did, we did not catch this guy's name. But I love the leader of the Highwaymen. I love his voice. I love his look. I love his hat. And I love how there's definitely a very cowboy uh, theme to him. In fact, they all seem to be dressed like Civil War reenactors. Like most of his men are wearing those uh, dark blue pants and dress uniforms that uh, Union's uh, soldiers wore during the Civil War. So maybe these guys got them out of a, mu a museum nearby in D.C. or something like that. But uh, <laughs> I got to say, I love their look you know and I I like these new characters already and uh, it never hurts to have new friends and allies in the pop the in the apocalypse especially when you're going up against a nasty threat or a group of people like the whisperers so hopefully the highwaymen become more friendly rather than antagonistic but I sure as shit love that scene where they come uh, strolling they come running down the highway on horses and very briefly some epic cowboy western music is playing as they come trotting a Long and then they hop off and they just start lopping zombies left and right and Tara and the others like who the hell are these guys and the leaders all like we're the highwaymen at your service I'm like okay that was fucking great so besides the Daryl Beta fight another epic highlight for me in this episode was uh, the highwaymen their introduction and that particular scene where they come heroically charging down the road on horseback very western cowboy-ish there and I loved it 
great episode overall. Uh, I'm, re I, you know, it was very exciting. It was uh, very kinetic, and it was also had some great character moments. You know, it was so damn funny when Jerry like brings Ezekiel's side, whispers something to him, and then Ezekiel trying to act all tough is like, and Jerry would very much like his sword back. <laughs> Even in a tense confrontation, Jerry can still make you laugh. I love it. Oh God, I hope he's not. I hope he's not going to die anytime soon. No, 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 no. Anyone but Jerry. Anyone but Jerry. Take Nabila. I know that sounds bad, but <laughs> take her over Jerry, please. Not Jerry. Actually, Nabila is pretty great too. Don't don't hurt Nabila, which means they're probably going to hurt one of them or both of them. <laughs> no, this episode is fantastic. I'm really loving it. This season has. Has been incredible Angela King whatever you're doing keep up the good work you are phenomenal as is everybody else everybody's doing a great job writers producers actors directors keep up the good work I can't believe we only have three episodes left but I'm sure they are going to be epic all right guys thank you so much for watching the edward in this episode review what did you think of this episode did you like it did you love it did you hate it were you expecting more expecting less what do you think is going to go down in the final three episodes i want to hear your opinions and your feedback down below in the comments sec section thank you so much for watching the final three episodes of this season of the walking dead air in the on sunday nights on amc don't miss it have a great rest of the night and of course until next time may the force be with you